me, and I couldn't access my site to update the link. Uh, I don't know what was that. It's uh, uh, there was update of uh, uh, of a site where WordPress site was updated to a new version. So my guess it is was it was related to that. Uh, Hello, everybody. Yes. Hi, Jim. Hey, how are you? So we have uh, thanks, how are you? Hayan, Hi, Jaguar. Hi, Jaguar. Caitlin. Hello. Hello. Uh, Major Robbie. Oh, yeah. Is it the Robbie, right? Robbie. 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 Hey. Yeah. Hi. Hey, Hi. everybody. Jim um, sat and meditated while I was frenziedly, frenziedly trying to restore the site yes. from a backup and yes, he restore the damage. And I tried all possible things. It didn't work. But uh, basically, uh, finally, I kind of somehow worked around, and you guys joined. But that is excellent. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Sandy is with us too, and Sandy, you don't want to? Can do you want? I'm fine here. I'll can I point the camera to you? All right, here is Sandy. She will be on the back on the background. Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. I'm the, thank you for waiting, everybody. I mean, it was a rough time here with the. Yeah. The blockages. But it is what it is and we finally got through. So I yes. guess it's meant to be. Uh-huh. So. Tell about the story about the, the, the bricks. Oh. Yes. Max put bricks in my neighbor's driveway so that no one would park there and she ran over them. <laughs> so she was picking up <laughs> So it didn't work out that well. So, Last and then she wrote me a gigantic text and told me, "Oh, kids are pranking me and t putting bricks on my driveway." And I, I was just going, "I'll move them and put them back." So that's all. Is it good no, it's I didn't throw him under the bus. So, but uh, he was just doing it, trying to do a good deed, but it backfired. So, how good now? I think we are fine. No good deed goes unpunished. Yes, <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> well, I would say that's a bit of karma, isn't it? <laughs> yes, a bit of karma. Yes. Well, today is um, we've had a, some real difficulties today, but you know what? It's still a great day. So, what can you do? It's a we're running a little late though, a little late, like a lot late, an hour late almost. So. Um, hello, everybody. Go ahead. And yeah. Hello. Oh, I have a drum. I will drum in a minute. Um, so we still accept donations. Last week, no donations come, and I blame the fact that no donations come that, that nothing worked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think these are tooling thing. Um, Jim is accepting us uh, uh, requests for private sessions, and he does it through. Skype, uh, Skype or, or the telephone, phone. and and thank uh, you for all of you that have already done. Skype. And um, and all, all all this money thing relates only to people with income. If you don't have a job, then you know we don't want any 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 of your money. But uh, we want you to find a job and then support us. <laughs> I was doing some interviews, and um, uh, there, I spoke to a couple of millionaires, you know, multi-millionaires. They have like tons of money, but. Uh, and uh, I'm raising investments for my company where I develop, would will develop well if, I, if I get money. So far, zero money has been raised, but I have a couple of partners. We developed something like a Reiki machine, a, a therapeutic device with lasers and hopefully with sound, which will directly interfere, with, uh, interact with your DNA and and fix it. Uh, fix it by activating, not by not by mutating, but activating. But mutation also, we, we, we're looking at ways of gene editing, which is now possible. So, so all of that is, is pretty good science, and uh, I have read lots of experience. So I'm, if you know any investors, uh, that would be one of the projects. Another project we are looking for investments is movie making. We have Christian, who is a movie maker, very young and very talented and young uh, movie maker, and he is doing a pro. Looking for investments now to do a project on uh, alternative medicine. So things are moving around, and and uh, 
I think some action will happen. So far, we are in the bottom of our financial situation. Uh, really, really, like it's hard to get money to pay the for the house, housing and for the food. But if you don't have a job, then you understand us, and you don't want your money. We just, only those who have the who have the jobs can support us. Uh, I spoke during the week. I spoke to a few of our friends, and after the channel, we probably will speak to the. Uh, we were asked to introduce them again, so we'll do the introductions for the friends. But today we invite good ones, and um, we'll see, let's see what, who, who comes. And um, it's it's spring now, finally in Rochester. We have warm weather and sunny weather. It's uh, it's 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 a joy. We are very happy. Here. Welcome. Hey, Lakesh. Welcome. Sorry for the long wait. One moment, please. Uh, yes, that's better. Do you know what's wrong with our equipment? Is it something relevant to extraterrestrials? It's there is a lot of interference in the this part of the United States. Yes. Any specific extraterrestrials, reptilians that I can my website? There is some reptilian work being done, yes. And they are trying to clear it up right now. They are, I mean, our Dorkvigneer friends? Dorkvigneer, yes. You oh. are being blocked. Really? Yes. Okay. They don't like what we have to say. All right. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine. And how are you? We have a spring which finally came. We did bicycling yesterday, and it's very, very joyful. The dogs are happy, kids are happy, everybody is. Yes, the weather is bringing about a change of attitude. That is a good thing. Yes. We should do our sessions now outside. That would be so wonderful. Ah, outside. I do. Have I ever been outside? Uh, I do not believe that. We've ever channeled outside. I don't know. If I do not think so. Would you like to? Yes. We should do that. The more experiences, the better I know. Mm -hmm. So we have people around. You possibly heard them. And uh, do you have any anything to say, or we do the questions today? What's your attitude? <laughs> I do not have a lot of time today, so let us ask questions. Answer. Yes. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, I guess Caroline would be your turn if you're ready. 
Hello, Cash. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Um, yeah, just a couple of things. Um, a few days ago, I got an interesting um, figure in one of my photos. What what was that? It's almost like it looked like a male, or it's all in white, but it's a a figure of like. Um, a figure in light of in one of your photos. Yeah. I do not know what that is. Can you do you have that photo? I do not see it. Um, Hold yes. on, just one moment. Let me see if I can. Where were you? Where were you when you took this photo? In my in my living room, and it was right in the corner above the wipe board. My my children's wipe board. Um, it was by the the door in the corner. In the corner. Like, yeah, there's like like a white figure. Of and like, you took a picture of it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Did it turn out? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's clearly. I didn't actually see it until it only came out on my um, photo. Ah, ah, yes. Okay. One moment, and I will check that for you. Okay. How old is this home? Where I am now. Yes. Um, I'm uh, about probably just under twenty years, I think. I do not see anything. I would think that it may be a, a light infraction of some sort. I do not believe it is a being. Does it look like a being to you? Yeah, yeah. I showed it to my mum today, and she said, "Yeah, it looks like a look like a man." But I look like a man. Yeah. One moment. I'm not getting anything on that, to be honest with you. Okay. No, no problem. Um, okay, my next question would be, do I have any implants at all? Yes. Oh, okay, where, where would they be? Or would it be? I'm, you have one behind the left knee. One behind the left knee. And one behind the right elbow. I need more oh. places for implants, but they are there. Okay, thank you. Did you, um, have, I'll... did you think that you had one somewhere else? No, no, I, I didn't think I'd had any at all, to be honest. Yes, you do. Okay, who 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 put them there? Just interesting. Uh, members of Grokvignir did that. It was a Pleiadian that actually did the implants, yes. Okay, no problem. I'll let somebody else ask some questions. Thank you. Let me see who is next. Uh, next is... Uh, can it see that person? Uh, let me see. Um, Gabriel, are, are you on are you, uh, you are on air, and next one is Hayan, Gabriel. and next one is Jaguar. So Gabriel, Gabriel you want to speak. Gabriel from Sweden. Uh-huh. Yes. I can't really talk now. All right, that's fine. Uh, we will send you good wishes. Next is Hayan. Hayan. Is Mohammed with you? Yes. Hi, Mokesh. Welcome, both of you. Thank you, Mr. Okama. <clears throat> what would you like to ask? Um... About my experience the the other week. With with my meditation, you know. Ah. With your meditation, did you say? Yeah. You know, last time when you came through, you told me that uh, you asked me if I wanted to share share anything with. Yes, please do. Yeah, I was meditating, and uh, I don't know. I went went into uh, maybe some higher energies or something, 
yeah. dimensions. I don't know. It was like um, it was like taking a hallucinogen, like a mushroom trip. Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Everything was melting and uh, not so solid. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I felt I felt beings and stuff, and I tried to to guide it to to connect to other, but um, it was I wasn't successful to connect. Yes, I I remember this that we spoke about this. Yes. And it was not a flashback from hallucinogens. It was yeah. Yeah. a higher existence, fourth dimensional energy was involved with this yeah. so and you were able to move out but you were not able to connect with what you wanted to connect with is that correct yes that is okay for now you cannot connect with that until the time is right but you will connect with it eventually you are growing quickly in your vibration your vibration had been very high, and then it came low, and now it's moving up again. Is that yeah. correct? That is correct. Yes. And now you are in a period where your vibration is moving, but it is you are not quite ready to experience the thing that you were trying to grasp onto at this time. But yeah. you will re reach it, yes. But can you give me some some guidelines or some you know, technique, meditation technique to think of or something for next time when, when I reach that point and go to that energy? What you need to do is totally, whenever you, you want to reach out to something, you have to totally relax because you would not be able to do that in that state. You would have to total relax totally relax and let it come to you do you understand not expect anything yes don't expect it let it come to you do not try to reach it yes. because you will not but it will reach you does that make sense to you yes yes and so this is what you must do you must let go let go during meditation completely completely let yourself move outward and these things will come to you and move out from you without you trying if you try it will not succeed if you do not try it comes naturally because that's the way your spirit works your spirit does not have to try to be enlightened the spirit that came into you originally was enlightened now we have to find it again you have to find it again I have to find it again everyone finds their spirit but you cannot try to find it you have to release your spirit it's not something you try to do it happens I cannot be more specific I don't think yeah, thank you very much You're I have to do yes no uh, problem is there a way that you can reach uh, the vibration 5? Yes. There are earthlings right now that have vibration 5. So that is a that is possible. It is possible to reach vibration 10, but after that you become different. You're not completely human if you reach a 10 vibration. Mm -hmm. I think I've spoken about that before. You become part spirit. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. How can you do to bring it? Like. <laughs> yes. Uh, how can you do to raise, raise your vibration? I did not understand the question. How do you raise your vibration? What do you do? You do meditations. You do things that are helpful to others. You do what is positive, and you burn out those things that are negative within you you release things that are past unforgiven you forgive yourself you forgive others you become part of a natural vibration among light workers there's many things you can do to raise your vibration does that make sense to you yes thank you bring 
make sure that you forgive yourself for anything that you've done in the past that you regret. Do not hold on to it. If you must make amends, do so. Do so. But do not hold on to that negative energy. It holds you back. It always holds you back. When you keep negative thoughts, secrets that are dark, let them out. Let them out if you're alone or you can speak them to someone else and that understands and will not judge yes. and then forgive it. Hmm. All right. How about you negative lot, thoughts? Go ahead. What? Thank you so much, Lakesh. Oh, you are welcome. So, how about doing negative things, like harming someone if you have to, like lying if you have to keep the job, you have to do a lot of deception. This is not good. Let me tell you how you should handle these things. Yes. If you perceive something is negative, you should actually meditate on that thing. Not that day. You should not ever do anything that you do not feel is right at the moment that it hits you or the moment that is presented to you because that is very negative in the sense that you are blindly moving forward without discerning what you are doing. It could be harmful to many people or even yourself. So you must take time and meditate on that particular thing and then you will know how to proceed. Many times the way to proceed proceed is to bring that individual that gave you this request in to your space without anyone else around and find out the reasons behind their request. Suppose kids misbehave and I have to punish them. This is not negative. If they are if this is if there is a noise. Yeah, I'll stop that. I think it's not in me. Oh. Sephira, please go to the website. Okay. There. I don't know what will happen. Sephira? Oh, what's happening there? There is tons of people on a Skype. There is another tremendous number like, oh, what's... Oh, somebody is calling. Wow. That is too much. Where was I? Just a second. There is another 10 people on Skype kind of having a party with us. Oh. Hey there. Can they hear us? Yes, I can hear everybody. Fantastic. Just... Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, and the phones are... Okay, so we have a, uh, another party happening on on Skype. Uh, we have about... Ten... Just a second. It's another interference. <laughs> Let me see what happens. I think that's that. Okay. Hey guys who are on Hangouts, we got another party of 10 people who connected to themselves from the site, from our human colony, the org, and they're now on Skype. I don't know if they can hear us, but, uh, but they are there. Uh, join, join call. Hey guys, can you hear me? Hello, guys. Uh, David, um, whatever, Jacob. Welcome. Welcome, guys. Uh, uh, Edmund, are you there? Okay, you can uh, join Edmund. us, I guess, if you can hear us. They can hear me, I think. Are you uh, just starting? Oh, we are on Hangouts, not on Skype. So I will quit Skype. It's only David Decker here. Mm -hmm. I'll stop that. Uh, join us. Uh, oh, I can keep you here. David, you are. Uh, we, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, you are, uh, do you want to ask questions to Lakesh if uh, uh, if if you have anything, David? Yeah. 
All right, go ahead. So much confusion. <laughs> yes. Like this. One moment, please. Mm -hmm. There is some interference. Uh-huh. <laughs> they do not want me to tell you how to be less negative. Negativity is how some survive. Does that make sense to you? So, Lakesh, this is the picture of the light man which Caroline saw. So, she shared with us a picture. You see a light man with a hand? Yes. 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 One moment, please, Caroline. Thank you. I recognize that. That looks like. Oh. That is a spirit creature. Oh, wow. Okay. That is not an alien, but it is a spirit. Oh, lovely. Okay, uh, um, they're, they're okay as far as I know. This one seems very bright. It is a positive entity. Okay, yeah. That's what I was getting. I didn't think they were I do not bad at know. all. do not know who he is, but I know it is a male. Goodbye. Okay, great. Thanks for confirming it. You're welcome. All right. Um, next one is um, Jaguar. Hi. Hey, Jaguar. Hello. Hello. Hi, Lakesh. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I am fine. There is much interference and confusion today, but I am fine. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, can I place a question? Yes. Uh, do you know or um, can you find out why did I come to human colonies? What brought me here? How did I come across uh, this movement? Because you are to be part of it. Aha! <laughs> but there are other things as well. It hmm. resonates well with you because of things that are happening in your life right now. There are things that are moving forward with you and things that have happened just in the recent past that make this resonate with you much better. Mm. Your very essence moves with human colony in some ways. You would like to become a light worker in a different way than most. Am I correct? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not very clear, consciously speaking. I'm speaking from my mind. I'm aware of that in 3D. But um, some sense of me, deeper sense of me, resonates with what you said. Yes. 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 And that is where I speak. Is there another question? Yes. Um... Uh, trying to find uh, in 3D my own uh, life path and the correct work for me. I'm currently um, unemployed. Yes, yes, and seeking um, the correct work, not just find a job to find a job, but to find the right job to move forward also in that um, spiritual sense so that I can match 3D with higher dimensions. Yes. And what is it that you did before? My last job was in IT. I did business development for uh, uh, an IT more, company. You were much more creative than that. Yes. <laughs> yes. I understand. Your highest creativity is in what field? Right now, I would say uh, music, probably. Ah. And, and Video. I, 
and video also. Yes, you will be very helpful. Yes. I cannot tell you in what path to go, but your search will find someone that will help you. Hmm. You must do the work. I cannot tell you, because then the path would be shorter and you would not learn as much. I understand. But you do have a path in this area. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Do also, not disbelieve. Do not mm -hmm. disbelieve or doubt yourself. Mm -hmm. Because these are the things that keep you from your path. Mm -hmm. You realize that there are many, many blockages in your way, so to speak. But do not doubt them. Do not doubt. Do not doubt. Mm -hmm. In my path, outside, but also inside myself, yes? Yes. Inside yourself more than outside. Yes, yes, I understand. I understand. Thank you. You're welcome. Do not doubt. Can I place another question? Yes. Are you aware of the human design system and uh, the person that called himself Ra Uruhu? Ra Uruhu? Yes, and the human design system. I am not totally aware. I have heard the name, but I am not totally aware. I would have to look for that. Mm -hmm. I'm still learning many things about you. I could probably not learn everything about your society and world mm -hmm. in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell me something about that so that I understand why you're asking the question. Yes, it's a system um, that is... Um, I found it helpful myself. Uh, it emerges uh, the I Ching, Probably you are aware of it. Yes, I am. That I the am. Chinese div divination system. Yes, yes with, with many other systems like the Kabbalah, the Tree of Life. It is a network, a network of systems. Yes, it's a, it's a synthesis method. And uh, I'm, I'm interested in it. I came across it and uh, it's been helpful. So I would like to, to explore it. And also I'm searching for validation if you'd like. Yes. Validation to see if if it's really uh, uh, truthful in a more universal sense. Ah uh, yes, there are ways to to discern these things, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you are on your pathway, and you must ask yourself which part of the system you align with best, mm -hmm. and then from that area you may move forward into the other systems. Does that make sense to you? Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nicholas, are you ready? Hey, Lakesh and Max. Nick. Hi, Nick. How are you guys doing today? Very good, Nick. Uh, how's your granddaughter? He is wonderful. She brings me much joy. All right, awesome. I can't wait till I have uh, grandkids one day. You will love them like your own body. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well. Um. Sorry. So much energy comes from you whenever I talk to you, so it gets emotional for me. <laughs> yes. Um, and it is well, yes. You have many people, creatures around you as well. They're watching you. So there is energy coming in my direction as well. Yeah, I try to send it as well. Um, yes. I wanted to ask about, I guess, to honestly, I think um, I should, the, the most appropriate thing should to be to ask about what, has been happening since I volunteered to donate my DNA. You, you've been energetically charged, have you not? Uh, I, I almost, I can't. It's like, oh, it's like so much. It's like. <laughs> yes. Um, I, but, uh, like right after I posted it, uh, I felt a presence, and then. You have already been 
selected for DNA donorship, should I say. They have already taken some DNA from you in one way or another. I am not sure what they have taken. I definitely but I know they have taken something. Like I felt um, like my body has been like shut down a little more, but my energy has been like sped up like times like 10. Yes. This um, is also due to your reptilian maturity. You are going through the adolescent stage of reptilian growth, which is very energetic. You can't slow that down right now. Is your mind a bit fuzzy still? Um, yes, and uh, it, it still gets fuzzy here and there, but I feel like I've never been more, uh, in some ways, honestly, I've been never more clear, more uh, yes. aware of... I literally can. Yeah. I, I I I almost feel my energetic body now, and I actually use it more than I use my uh, physical body. Actually, well, you were life. always very telepathic in some ways, but now you are coming into another realm of it. The energy that you are feeling is fourth dimensional activated, and it will help you to become. A greater person in your light workership. You are not quite enlightened, but you are almost at peace, which is a very high vibration. Do you understand? Yes. And and I will tell you other things later. There are things that you need to know, but not yet. Okay. But Continue to enjoy this feeling that you have of energy, and the you say the fuzziness is less than it was. Um, right now there's a lot, as I feel like there's yes. a lot of things in the room with me right now. Yes, there. Um, do not be worried about that. There is others oh. that are going through the fuzziness stage of their reptilian growth as well, but. I will tell you that that will clear. That will clear. Um, last night I was meditating, and I feel like I'm at the verge of literally, uh, fit, like seeing with my actual eyes, the ent an, 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 an entity. And then I started meditating, and I almost like went into the state. And then it felt like something grabbed my chair and shook me awake, to make me know it was there. And say if I wanted if I wanted to see it, I would just have to turn around. But then I could I just I thought I was ready, and then I just in my mind I just told it to go away, and then I wouldn't look until a couple minutes. <laughs> it was there, yes. It was a reptilian, and you have been with this reptilian for a long period. He has so been long. watching you and taking interesting notes about your development. So that is who you would see when you turn around. You are not quite ready, I guess, not to see them. Well, I, I, that's why I felt it wasn't someone that it was going to be easy to see. <laughs> no, they are not easy to see sometimes. And this one is not easy to see, no. Not for humans. And... I but you are ready to see him if you want. And he has to be the first one, I guess? He will be your first, yes. And that's why he shook my chair. I, I feel like yeah. he was telling me that he's the one I have to see first in order for me to yes. continue. This is the this is true, yes. And uh do you have a name for him? He will tell you his name. I do know his name, but I am not to. The protocol in this case with you is for me not to tell you his name, but he will tell you his name when you are ready to meet him. Because that is the protocol that must be followed in this instance. In other instances, I could tell you a reptilian name without any problem, but in this particular instance, it's a little different. Yes, I actually, actually kind of felt you would say that. Yes. I, I think I've had a conversation with him a, a year or so ago and he to, to, in telepathic conversation he told me when I almost I feel like 
Well, actually, that was the Zeta, I think. But you was a Zeta Gray. Yeah. Whereas Zeta Reptile. And the only other question I think I should just ask is just about the group that came into my room the night after I met. I volunteered to donate, and they told me there was a group of them. They would not tell me how many. But at one point, then they would say that there was a good amount of them, and they were all, yeah. and they kind of taught me how to connect my root to the core of the earth and my ah wonderful ground to yes. the sun. Then you, they wanted you to be grounded and stretch your experience. Do you understand? You're being stretched in your experiences, and this was a group of teachers and. They were giving you information that you probably couldn't hear, but your subconscious was listening. And then, as they stretch you, this is part of where your energy is coming from at this time. Do you understand that? And they are helping you to stretch your... Because you, as we have spoken before, your leadership ability will be necessary in the future. And these are things that you must know about because they have to communicate with you probably every even maybe hour in the future. I feel like they, there's like always something here with me. Like no matter what, I just think and then they're there. And, and yes. I you, pretty. I feel like I, I like my they. I I don't know. I don't want to take up everybody's time, uh, but. Um, uh, like a year or so ago, before I went through my uh, real shit, before I went through my version of the shift, um, they, I thought it was God telling me my name, my real name was Enoch, and I looked up Enoch, and he was like the one who talked to the angels, talked to the other beings, and came down and told the people what they were saying, or something along those lines. There's a lot of different stories. I never actually read the book of Enoch, but. I feel like somehow... Enoch is a very important person in Revelations as well. Yes. So he told might me not be was... mentioned by name there, but he is there. Yeah, but they, they let me tell you that the more information will come, but not right now. You have to deal with what is happening now, and this is enough for you right now. Yeah, I think it's a little too much sometimes, but that's okay. This is enough for you now. You must not take on something else at this time. Okay. Do you understand? You are blessed, but you you cannot overdo at this time. Let this happen. Let this flow. Enjoy the energy. Enjoy the parts of it that are most enjoyable. And try to, uh, to bring out and loosen anything dark within you. Yes, thank you. Get it out. Because they are working on your positive aspects. I was wondering if you could just tell me how many different light languages I can actually speak because it just a year ago, when you guys were talking about it last week, I just, I almost interrupted because I just didn't realize they were actual languages. Yes. I mean, I'm not even going to go into them now, but I, I was just wondering... If you actually know two, and there's an, a third one that is you're getting close to knowing. Okay, so the rest, I feel, are just spirit yes. speaking. Nick, can you say anything on, on other languages? Uh, I, I'm not really sure. I mean, I can say anything, I guess. Uh, Let me hear one sentence, anyway. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess the could you ask me something maybe? Or, or Can I'll it come from one to twenty? Well, I had this. This I actually tried to number one through ten in something, and I don't know what this was, but I actually wrote it down. So one through ten, uh, but I feel like it was also connected to hu a human language, but uh, it is kun, dwa, tre. Sink, sit, sin, oct, ni, den. Yes, those do have origins in the human language. They're augmented 
that's actually an augmentation of some Atlantean language as well. So, yeah, I felt that that sounded was French. How about father, mother, sister, brother? Uh, I could just say random. Th I honestly, I haven't really tried to think okay. about it. Those are the only things I tried to like actually think what would come clearly that I could remember. Because I don't want to just say things and then I won't remember how to say them again. Because okay. I feel like a lot of it just comes. So I'll yeah. just say, Mustarata dingoro sama paiinte te rosa kita. Mutta senete te soka tanna ye to son ponte. Tara senkete. Osso tumbate singe to toreta saka. Musterike la kishamata sa. Nutege sabata busingare ese. Masta ye yeo. Kambara se tuntesa. Tata i ke osso alla mane osso na e ke asa doe e ne deso mai o te ke sa. Bumbare e sa. Ke soto. Very good. <laughs> Entertaining. Very nice. Oh, you were you were saying I at first you were saying I don't know what I'm saying, but these words will come out just automatically and then you said I'm lost in my own spirit because it's so energetic I think that I'm going insane sometimes and my wife wants to bat me around like a ball <laughs> and and you your dream life is also very secret but very open so you said a lot of really funny things <laughs> uh, what language was that? That was actually Arcturian. Arcturian. Yeah, oh. when I was very young, I was really connected to the name Arcturus, and but ever since I was I got older, I kind of not felt as connected. But the name Arcturus was so strong when I was younger to me. Yes. <laughs> yes, that was a one of the dialects of the Arcturian. Zachariah speaks Arcturian, so it would be nice to be in you and Zachariah online together and have you chat in Arcturian. Yeah, I talk. I, I actually talked to him through Skype, and he actually, uh, uh, yeah, he told me that one of my past lives I was a blue Pleiadian, uh -huh. yes. and uh, then I like I w like led like uprising in a positive direction. Uh, actually, in other another life too, and that's what I've actually discovered. And you will do the same in this. Lifetime as well in some ways. It's not exactly the same though. No, I think it has to be. In it this will be world, different this time, but it will be a def definitely a leadership position. Is it blue Pleiadian the same as um, you, Lakesh? The there are blue Pleiadians, and I am a blue Pleiadian, but I'm a blue, and they're blue Pleiadians. But I am in the Pleiadian system as well. We do not look exactly alike. They are much taller. They look more human. But yes. So Nick was a leading a, uh, a revolt in Blue Pleiadian, uh, different than yours. Yes, it was not our society. And it was a long time. It was a different age. Yes, it was many centuries ago. Yes. So it was an era. I do not think it was era. No. Okay. I, I have no idea. I, I don't really. I never really thought about there, it. There are several uprisings to read about in Blue Pleiadian history, so I would have to check to see which one you were. Yeah, well, that would be kind of funny. I guess that'd be cool. I have to go soon. Oh, uh, I. I'm. I'm all right. Uh, let's let's keep keep going because we have so. Uh, Caitlin, are you are you ready to speak? Caitlin? Yes, I am. <laughs> Hello. Caitlin. Hello. 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 How are you? Oh, I'm doing really good. I'm outside and just looking at uh, the sky. <laughs> yes. Continue. Um, I was wondering if I will be interviewed. One moment. Okay. Where are you, Caitlin? Where am I in the world? Yes. I'm in Brantford, Ontario. Yeah, in Canada. That is better for me to locate more information. They have taken your application and you will be visited. But 
they're observing you now for a while first. Visited, meaning like physically visited? You will be asked the interview questions after the period of time that th they will observe you. If you do something that is not in their... Hmm, how should I say this? Is not a positive reaction to something and they feel that you are not qualified to go then the interview will be called off but at this point they see you as a very amicable person and will do some observation and then the interview keep yourself right. in a very positive frame be right. when you communicate this is a good thing for people to know. When you communicate with others and you are being observed, make sure that you don't speak too quickly and confuse what the people are saying to you because it is very important that you understand what they are saying to you before you answer them. This is a very big thing that they look for because you will be interacting with other species and sometimes just the way the words are formed and changed around can mean very very different things and but you will be briefed on these things of course but but you must be aware of the correct protocols and things to say when you are talking to other species such as insectoids or reptilians can be easily upset. Oh, really? Insectoids, reptilians can be easily upset? If, in a diplomatic situation, if it's handled incorrectly, they take their diplomacy and the spoken word when they're doing these kind of political things very seriously. If they're just chatting with you on what if they were just chatting with you they would not be so easily upset. So insectoids, reptilians and draconians? Draconians are not speaking to humans. Okay. And other species are fine, right? Other species can be fine, yes. Okay. Please continue. Caitlin? Um, sorry, hold on a second. Um, yeah, I want to know why I feel like I belong in the elven culture also. Like, I've been studying elves for a while. I've been doing a lot of research on them and Lord of the Rings also. I wanted to know why I really resonate with that culture so much because I listen to their music and it's like, oh my gosh, I feel like I belong here so much. I don't know yes. why. Because, yes, I understand why you feel that way. You are close to the earth in many, many aspects. You have some relationships with elves in past lives. And, especially wood nymphs, you are very close, we're once very close to a wood nymph. Oh, and, really? Yes. Have you studied wood nymphs? Uh, no, I, I've been... I don't know. I, I they really... are related to the elf family in some ways. Please oh. check them out. That is why you relate to them. They have similar kinds of activities that they do. El you are friends with elves as well in other lives. Are they nice? Uh... Most elves are nice. There are some elves that are not nice. You would invite nice elves and nice wood nymphs to channel through Jim, if it is not Harmon Jim. Yes, look for wood nymphs. You were very close to a wood nymph. Okay, I will. Thank you so much. Um, also, I'm sorry if I'm taking your time up, but like, ah, I'm looking at the sky and I see like transparent things moving around. It's so... I don't know what this is. Like, it gets so intense that I can't even 
Ugh, so much energy. It's yes. like my heart is racing. I can't. Ugh. They are in fourth dimension. I'm surprised you can see them. They look invisible to you, but just sort of a shine to them. Yeah. Um, it's also in my room, too. Like, I will see geometric shapes in my room that have colors to them, and it's just... Oh, it's weird, but it's cool at the same time. I find it really interesting. But I was told it's because I'm becoming more, like, psychic in some ways. Mostly I'm yes. empathic and intuitive, I think, but... You are very empathic and intuitive, and you are becoming more aware of the actual world that you came from in your last life. Thank That's you. all I will say for now. But okay, you will you. continue to find these things and be aware of them. And this will help you in your pa pathway, your motion, and your vibration upward. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, thank you. Gabriel, uh, you have a question. You're, can you speak it now or can you type it now? Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Were you going to teach me something? I... Lakesh, I didn't get that right when you talked last time. Oh, I was going to teach you something, yes. And are you the one that is attached to the challenged people? I don't know what you mean by that. I don't, think so. I don't think so. There is someone that was attached to me. Yes. Lakesh, it's me. Hayan. Who is that? Hayan? Hayan, that's right. Hayan. I knew Sweden. It was in Sweden. When we are in the same city. Hayan, I mean. Ah, that is why. Mm -hmm. One moment. Ah. You will be... I was telling you that you were going to learn some new things from your your job that you have just taken and these will benefit you in your future and I was wanted you to learn how to become a better meditator because I th do not think that you meditate much do you much I had some problem with that yes I believe that you're you need to find a much quieter area, either that or cover your ears when you're meditating so you cannot hear anything around you because you're easily distracted. When you cover your ears, you will hear the blood throat flowing through your head and therefore just concentrate on this for 15 minutes and let it let everything else go. Just think about that for now. There will be steps afterwards where I would like you to bring the light in as well. But you, you're, at the basic, you're at the basic part of meditation and I think this could help you just get away from some things and let some things go free and move out from yourself a little bit if you just cannot hear what's going on in the outside world. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Good. Like, because go you, in, you the, were... in the forest. Ah, it's a wonderful place, yes. If you go to the forest, there are lots of sounds there, but, there, but the atmosphere is much more different. And the earth, you will feel the earth and the energy there and the energy in the trees and the energy that comes from forest and the different life forms that live there and that is a very positive thing yes but uh, did you say last time that you were going to teach me in the future yes in the future okay can you share anything more about that not right now okay uh, we have three more people I'll talk with you later then. thank you what was that I talk with you later, then. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Gabriel. We have three more people who you haven't will. spoken yet. Thank you, Gabriel. It's in light. Um, it is Joshua. It is Ravi, and it is Sifira. So it's four people. Uh, I, I recommend that, like I recommend that you speak to someone who you haven't spoken before. I think in light you haven't spoken. Speak. 
Oh, you have to speak. Who has not spoken before? So, who has not spoken before? Please speak and tell your name. David. Oh, David. Yes. All right, go ahead. Um, interested in learning more about the signing up for the human colony. Yes. On uh, what the what the benefits and what the purpose is to, to doing this. There are several things. Let me explain. The human colony is for those people who would like to experience life outside the earth, for one thing. And it is for those that are qualified to help raise the vibration of the earth and to give advice to those in Grookfrick near that need to know different aspects of how human life works and how human life fits in with their life as well. They are learning very much from the telepaths in Colony 1, but they have not expanded that because they're still learning so much from the people that are just there. And they're realizing how different each individual is and how much information each individual has that is not shared with another and also how they relate to spirit world spirit world relationships are fascinating from earth there are so many spirit world relationships that we could not even keep track or they could not even keep track and I could not even keep track of at any given time does that make sense to you plus the DNA that they are taking for hybrid children for the future will be greatly used to build cultural relationships between us, between them, between me, between you. How many people are already taken the DNA from for the volunteer program, for a voluntary program? Let me ask them. Please. Now you understand they will not use every bit of DNA that they have taken. Okay. That is disappointing, but that's okay. But you will know if it, they chose yours. Okay. At this point. 47. 47? Volunteer. I didn't get that many uh, applications yet. But there are people out there that have volunteered without writing it down. Okay, got it. Hooray. That's a great success. Uh, let me see. Anybody else who haven't spoken, please uh, say your name and speak. Quickly. I must go shortly. Hi, it's Rory. Can I, can I find out what, what you eat and how, how it is there also? I, the food that we eat is not identifiable to you. No, I mean, what would we, how would we survive? How, what would we eat? On... Well, you would have to bring some of your own food with you because we could not support some of your nourishment. You do not have the same capacity for the same things. I do not know how to say it. I don't understand. Where to bring where? Well, they would have to bring it along if they were to come to our society, their own food. Oh, are you taking foreigners? Well, he asked me how they would eat on my planet if they were there. Is that what you asked? I don't yeah, think so. I'm interested in, in uh, doing that, but I, I just wanted to find out more. Yes, because our food is not the same as yours. You could not eat our food, I could not eat yours. So you would have to bring something with you. Anybody else has, uh, who hasn't spoken yet? Hello. Hello. Rowie. Hey. Hello. How's it flying? Oh, I'm lovely gliding, yeah. <laughs> um, can you tell us more about the probability of the 2015 appearance of the IL? Yes, I've heard many things about this at this time. I've heard even some say that there will be first contact on the 15th of this month. I, have, I am not sure who that is coming, but if they arrive, I will be sorry. 
but it is an orange or red moon for you. What? There has been a lot of internet talk about the Phoenix uh, lights again, and and lots of orange uh, lights have been seen. Yes. So uh, yes. And also, Getting very excited here. 2015 still is their contact time at this point. They're, they have doubts about it, but right now it would appear that things are moving quickly enough that 2015 could be it. Is there anything we can do to accommodate them? Um, how can we prepare more for them? And also, would they need special requirements, or would we be taken on board? Or At first contact, you would not be taken on board. There would be 12 sites around the world that they would come to all at once, so that people would be given their particular language and particular information for their cultures to understand where they're coming from. You understand? Yes, I understand. They would have to come in different cultural makeups, but they will be accompanied by humans to help them, so that the fear will not be as great. Fantastic. Who is speaking there? This is Rowie. Rowie. Oh, hey, Rowie. Yeah. Hi, Max. I must go. Who else is there? Maybe Safira one. didn't say anything yet. There's Safira. Come. Hey, Safira. Speak. Your microphone is on mute, I guess. Oh, I guess it just doesn't work. All right. It's nice to see you. Unfortunately, we can't hear you. <laughs> Something is wrong on your side this time. I guess that's it. Uh, that person didn't speak. And light? And light, do you want to speak? And light, exactly. all right. Okay, my last question: You promised to come back with uh, uh, your job, my job in, in yes. information. Do you have anything? I am allowed to tell you there is a job in New York State for you. Is it in Buffalo? I am not allowed to say what city or town it is. I can only tell you that it is in New York State. Then you must search for it yourself because if you find it too soon, the direction of your path will be changed. Is it science? Blessings to you, Max. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lakesh. Everybody can say goodbye to Lakesh. Goodbye, Lakesh. Thank much, you. Much, much blessing to you. Goodbye, Lakesh. Thank you. You're thank welcome. Thank you, Lakesh. I appreciate everything. Thank you. Tucker, hello. I have only come for a moment, but to tell you about Colony One. Thank you. Colony One, they have learned that humans can transmute their spirits. Do you understand what that means? Transmute what? Into f they can transmute their spirits into emotional and physical elements. What kind of physical elements? This is still being researched, but it has been seen that they have can form different things within their bodies using their spirit. This is something that is unique to mankind. Wow. This is what I wanted to come and tell you. Mankind is uniqueness because of so many diversities joining together has caused a mutation, if you will. DNA mutation or some other mutation? A mutation in emotional spiritual connection. 
we know very well that stress can cause disease or cancer. Is it like that? Just yes, it is that kind of mutation that causes things to appear in the system. Now that they are telepathic in Colony One, different things have appeared than what have ever been expected before. Is it Perhaps they are too early in their telepathy to be natural. Is it mostly negative or positive things as well? It is both negative and positive. But mostly it's just changes in the body, right? Yes. I see. Mutations in physical features as well. But not great mutations, but definitely noticeable. Uh, we notice also that uh, owners of dogs are look become look, look uh, very much like their dogs, and people in family uh, change their features to look the same. Usually, owners buy dogs that look like themselves, so they can get along better. I understand. How can we do that? This is a question that we cannot answer yet because we have just discovered it within the last three Earth weeks that there has been mutations in two of the children and we do not wish that to continue. Oh, so those were negative? They were not necessarily negative, but they were definitely noticeable if they were to come back to human society they would be noticed. Can you describe those mutations? I am not at will. That's okay. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Blessings to all those. There is one out there that speaks Lyran. Oh, anybody who speaks Lyran yes. can speak Lyran? I forgot who. My highest blessings to you. Thank you, Tucker. You are Thank welcome. you. Can anybody translate what did you say? If you... I can translate. Please do. He was greeting me in a very lovely fashion. And he spoke to me as a teacher and asked him, me to teach him more and how to speak and understand what he has spoken. How is this his language? Is it very similar to yours? It is exactly the same. Who, who taught that language to him? This is a mystery to us. Uh -huh. But... He speaks it perfectly. Do you mind counting one to twenty for us to recognize? We have we want to have a record of something standardized. Yes. Speak one more time, and I will show them the similarities. Ishiwa hotu no otosio ahayesho. Yes. Thank you for the wonderful blessing. That was a very high honor. Thank you. Mehishi wa ha montu shukwa la ya. Yahabo hushu. I return your blessing to you and give you much love and light, as you would say on your planet. It would be interpreted slightly differently than mine. That's a miracle happening right now. Yes. Do you understand how they are exactly the same? I, I, I don't have a feeling. But if I have a record of 1 to 20, we could, we could have... Yeah. Exactly the same. Thank you. Thank you. I must go now. Uh, it's an honor to have you. Thank and a pleasure.
Oh, okie dokie. Hey, Jim. Hi. Hey, everybody. Welcome, Jim. Jim is back. Hi. Water. No. Hey. Hey, Jim. Hello, yeah, Jim. Um, Thank no. you, Jim. Hi. Hi. Welcome, everybody. Hi. Jaguar, do you mind counting 1 to 20? I need the record for that for every language. <laughs> uh, I would love to, but I have no idea how I do this. So <laughs> uh, let me just uh, guide you, and you might try to re to to repeat. So mm. one, two, three, four, five. Can you say e it in English? Ishio hotot ah et us undo ato ushi zayu duo dasi kato nu. Ah. Yeah. Um, Very nice. I don't think it was 20, but it was No. <laughs> Definitely not, but hey, it's what let, let, Let's start from up. 10. Let, let, I'm, um, hold on a second. I will do, do 10, 11, 12. Keep going. 10, 11, 12. Hey, show. Oh, do. Oh, ha. Deco. Muyo. Sayo. Toshu. Zato. Oh, oh, hi. Can you do 19 and 20 so we have the end? 19 and 20. Isho so oh. Thank you. Oh, wow. Ima imagine, you know, I think that's that happens for real. We now have Arcturian, uh, Pleiadian, and Liran. You know, how much can we ask for? Mm -hmm. I don't think we ever spoke Yaya language. If, but no, I don't think so. Uh, dude, uh, so ja Jaguar, can you can you give us your guess? How do you know Liran? And you know what's your? Who do you think talked to you? Uh, I have no idea. It's it's still a mystery, like uh, Taker said. Um, I'm still um, uh, trying to learn how to accept it. It's it's a, a pretty um, new to me. So, uh, did you watch the Karaya's videos? Uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm I'm aware of that name, but I haven't uh, on explored our them side, yet. On our video YouTube channel, Human Colony, there is mm -hmm. more than two Zakaria videos, and mm -hmm. he's nice in a way that he grew up in uh, on era in Pleiades. Hmm. So they took him from here as they take people to colonies and educated them here. No, not not only on, a little bit on air and mostly he was on uh, Utopia Five. We don't know the real name, but Utopia Five is a placeholder for the planet. So he grew up in the knowledge of his past lives, in the knowledge of mm -hmm. his of things. Mm -hmm. He's still young. I think he's around 16. And and he he kind of grew up with that. It, for him, it's not a question of acceptance. He mm. knew that from the very beginning. He knows that he was in high positions in the past life, and, mm. and it's kind of natural to him. Mm -hmm. And for you, it's a process of discovery, which is quite different. And for yeah. me, as well, for everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, I have. Uh, I had some time to get more conditioned. I would say, uh, uh -huh. I'm I'm over thirty, so um, I've had had some time. I recognize that that. Uh, to suppress this and to get conditioned, and now I'm inverting that process, you know, starting nice. to de decondition. It, you speak it very well, according to Kerr. To oh, for, yeah. for me, for, for, <laughs> me it's, say that, but, yeah. for me, the way of accepting that is kind of easy. I I'm mm. always on everybody's side, even on negative side. I can you know associate you know I can put myself uh, easily on on position of any negative person. And uh, when mm -hmm. I read the book of Stalin, I started transforming. It was uh, quite negative transformation, and it still mm -hmm. imprinted on me. So, mm -hmm. so, so uh, you know, I come from uh, a line, genetically, from a line of rabbis, and, mm -hmm. you know, when I'm in the church or cathedral or synagogue, I always associate my, myself with someone on the other side, the, mm -hmm. you know, the preacher. And, uh, you know, when I'm with aliens, I'm, I'm I'm on this side, and also I'm I'm Tucker. I am whoever they are. I, it's very easy for me to be Lakesh there. So that that's my approach. I feel I'm Lakesh. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of uh, I'm I'm myself, but also I'm on everybody else's side. And when I'm in the forest, I feel myself being in a tree, and and so on. It it imprints on me. 
Uh, if you remember, there was a, a Bradbury, Ray Bradbury book. Ray Bradbury. Uh, the, the story about a Martian. I think it was called a Marsh, uh, Martian. Martian Chronicles? Uh, in the Martian Chronicles, there was a, a Martian story. So basically, the Martian, which was, when he was in presence of somebody else, he would become the best wish of that person. You know, when, when he met the people who lost their child, he became the child. Uh, but he, for him, was a big trouble to come uh, to the group of people because he would transform very fast, and that that kind of killed him because uh, he was trapped, basically, become transforming too fast, and he melted, basically. But but that's that's my problem. I I, I transform into anyone. I'm I'm very very malleable, fluid. Uh, but also when I transform, kind of I overheat. I kind of get get out and isolate myself. But but maybe for you it would be a help how you can't accept anything. For me, accepting is easy. Yes. Staying yourself is difficult, but accepting is easy. <laughs> it was nice. So many people came today. I'm sorry we were late. We had interference with the program. With the yeah, we were blocked from we from the blocked. website. <laughs> hey, Max. Hey, Sefira, now your sound is working. I changed my sound settings. Oh, yes, I finally one. made it. I just want to say hi. I can hear you. <laughs> I want to say hi and thank you. And yeah, that's all. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, and thank you for um, stay. I mean, Sefira called us, and she was kind of uh, a window to the world. We kind of couldn't reach the the site. We didn't know what's happening. I was just blocked. I just became. Uh, Downgraded from administrator of the site <laughs> to, to uh, a user, so I can comment, but I can't really change anything. So I need to go back and I tried restoring from backup several times, nothing helped. So either reptilians blocked or just bad luck, but you know things wow. happen. And he was here early today. So. Oh yeah, I didn't <laughs> come late. Let he me wasn't late either. Let me show you guys. Let me show you. I I did some homework. For, uh, so the microphone now doesn't block Jim, and it looks beautiful. No, he, he used his own microphone stand. Microphone stand, especially for this occasion. Can yes, so that it would be low enough instead of, um, it would be low enough that I it wouldn't block our faces. So he awesome. built this himself. <laughs> so thank and duct, you, Matt. Duct tape was used. Yes. Yeah. With duct tape, he's yeah, an expert. Duct, yeah. And chewing gum. <laughs> chewing gum on my I can send you to a website where that would be very useful, Max. Yes. <laughs> All right. The Red Green Show, yes. Uh, I think yeah. I had something to discuss, but I forgot anything. What did we want to discuss? I don't know. Oh, I would like to discuss the hybridization program. Because... Yes. They they said within a year, and then suddenly, like the next day or the next few days, they were grabbing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so I have a question, Max, for you, if you know this scientifically, or Jim. I need to be there. So oh, when, when they when they want to take DNA, right? Yes. That doesn't mean taking ovaries and sperm, right? That's different. Oh, or is they it not me up. They took my sperm, and now my my um, urination is inflamed. They kind of infected me. I think I, I read go an infection, but after they did the surgery, whatever they do, uh, it's it's inflamed. Now I'm taking antibiotic, yes. and uh, like like here confirmed that it was um, their fault. I think I volunteered about ten days ago, and they came and take my sperm. I I can easily give sperm just by uh, masturbating, but you know it's uh, <laughs> oh, uh, they they, they want it hard way. They want to go and you know with their scalpel or whatever laser. <laughs> Okay, but my question is this. Wait, wait a second. Take... I'll finish. So I, I need oh, to finish. Sorry. Otherwise, it's kind of open question. So like, <laughs> like you said, um, it was the <laughs> previous time it was the same thing there because it's not the first time it happened. And second, uh, the cur came and think to her she kind of uh, did some diagnosis, did some Reiki, and uh, she prescribed me antibiotic, and I'm taking it now, and it helps. So, and she kind of checked the uh, how much antibiotic do I need, and if that bacteria is uh, compatible with that antibiotic, basically, uh, she was doing. I know what. What can they do? They can do um, earth, earth medicine, or they can take me up there. But they don't. They cannot take me up there. I know my friend uh, was 
cured from lung cancer. He is a heavy smoker, still smoking, but they did operation and they <laughs> took lung cancer out. And another person, uh, he had completely broke his knee and they restored it completely. And there were on the knee there were like traces of their um, this kind of laser. He had an imprint of some kind of spots and geometric pattern. Uh, they did this uh, test on me at the very beginning, and there was a geometric pattern on my body for about a couple months. It was the only proof I had that they're real, but it was a geometric pattern, and this one mosquito bites. They did some test on my whatever allergy reaction or whatever. So, uh, and now we have proofs with this uh, learned languages, which I think even more exciting than all tiny things that happened to us. So you were asking about taking the sperm. I think they are just butchers or clumsy surgeons. Well, my question they, was this. Um, in order for them to take our DNA, they don't have to necessarily take sperm or ovaries, right? They can just take a few cells. Uh, theoretically, they, you know, it's possible to take other. But basically, uh, sperm and whatever, human eggs and ovaries are egg cells and ovaries are more more appropriate for fertilization. Basically, your uh, germ they're called germline cells, germ cells. They are intact while all other adult cells in the body, they shorten their telomeres, the chromosomes are when they when they uh, become uh, the cells of the skin and other tissues, they they're a little bit truncated. So they are not as good. There is a lot of information there, so they kind of fix it artificially, but but the uh, uh, germline cells, germ cells are most appropriate for hybridization. That's why you know they they take those. So my answer is, from my human knowledge, they they take those. No, I know they take uh, uh, germ cells, sperm, and eggs, and uh, and then that has a reason for that. They take I I think they do it transdimensionally. They kind of they don't have to cut, mm -hmm. but when they take it, I think there is some side effect. And in the past, uh, you know, Grace, when they, who did when they did the hybridization program, they really cut through, through with using the needles. But now I think they use something transdimensional, so they can go inside you without uh, cutting from from outside. I think in the past 50 years they improved. Yeah, I think the Grays usually still, uh, even the Zetas, I think they just use some sort of. Uh, uh, it's always instrumentation. Uh -huh. uh, like I feel, I always feel them. It go like I feel like that's where the idea of probing came from because they like I could feel it always like come into me and like shift whatever it's doing, and I could feel them move the energy around until they're done, and then I could actually feel them take it out or whatever. Whenever I meditate, I just it's actually it's always assisting us, you know. Yes. Um, but I didn't. I think I don't think they took sperm from me. I think uh, they took different aspects of. Uh, I think you're right because they took. I'm not sure what they took, but they didn't take sperm from me. They took uh, other things. But they, they, they doesn't leave any scars or, or traumas in no, your body. No, it left me like exhausted for a week. It was like it felt like it happened like one night after another, like three nights in a row. Uh huh. Like right after I volunteered, so then it was like, I just I couldn't explain it. I just felt so different. And I couldn't explain why, and I was really, really fug fuzz fu fuzzy and, and like foggy for like a week. And I just like, but I was, I felt myself growing energetically, but not like in the same way I'm used to like learning new concepts. Because at a certain point, it just gets to just numbers, and then it just becomes energy, and then just understanding how it feels is the real, all that really matters. You know? uh Adrian Dwyer in his book, um, Extraterrestrial Medicine, describes how they do the surgery on humans. They take a body slice transdimensionally so they can look at any slice uh, from their dimension. They can access any part of the body without cutting the, the, the in physical. So the human is still awake. They doesn't, don't have anesthesia, but they, they access internal organs through sort of the opening in the nerves dimension. They can access and then they can combine it together and return it in a way that in that dimension it is sliced, but in our dimension it is the whole body which is still functioning. And also they can do a lot of things with time. Like if they need to 
uh, freeze time and do some manipulation, they can do that. You know, basically their operation can be very fast or other way around. Well, that's why I feel like they can always, they're always there as soon as you just, they, you can just call upon them. It even talks about that in the Bible. It's a, I look at the idea of angels in the Bible. It's a very loose term. I feel like they took out all the aliens and just named them all angels or demons. <laughs> uh, we have an, an, a real angel uh, who speaks to us. Um, well, I believe in angels too. Yeah. But I'm saying that the Bible, they just generalized it all as either angels or demons as a way to separate and like say these ones are bad and these ones are good. Of in the Bible, it... there is no special name for aliens. Yeah, so well, it's they possible. The aliens at one part. Ah, uh, I don't know. It's an open question. Where are the aliens in the Bible? But, but well, it comes comes from the word God, yeah, which that, means Elohim, God, yeah. those who came from the skies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's all in there. They just call it different stuff. Yes, Ezekiel's wheel in the sky. Mm -hmm. But that's also the book of Daniel as well. Yes. I know in Indian culture they have all sorts of aliens. It's it's you know, their religion, you know, aliens and in Mayan and in many others, aliens are legitimate part of their uh, religious tradition. But in uh, Jewish Christian, it's kind of there is no aliens in the Bible. No, not to say aliens, right? Yeah. Hey Max, I still have a question about <laughs> DNA. Oh. Sure. Uh, some a woman who are older and have already gone through menopause. Do they? Do we still have eggs to give? Are I'm pretty still... sure. Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you, you you do. Okay. Thank you. Sorry to change the subject. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Meals to yeah, eggs. Yeah. In, in, the, in the previous discussion, I don't know if it was online, but I asked the question. Yes, it was Buddha. I asked them him, you know, if people are beyond reproductive age. Uh, and they still in love. Is it abnormality? Because it seems irrational. Like the love is to making kids, and now, mm -hmm. ki now the uh, gays or uh, people be very productive. They still in love, but they can't make children. And Buddha said, No, no, that's all right. It is. It doesn't have to be. And he also said that in the in the past there were a few cases when uh, people in very old age were given birth, like women in old age given birth, because with God's permission, it's uh, if it is justified, it, it's possible. Interesting. Uh, I have a question, but I have to step out. Maybe Jim can answer it. Uh, Sabrina, from the last time who spoke, Pleiadian, she asked very simple questions, and I think we should answer them. Uh, she asked us to repeat, to introduce every individual who we speak to, basically, how they look, who, what, what their species, and... Uh, just a brief introduction, so so she can uh, kind of catch up with all. Of, there is tons of videos. In the past, maybe a couple of months ago, we did all these introductions, but I think they're buried. And if somebody can volunteer and write it on the website, just as uh, another post, just introduction to individuals who we speak to, like Kesh, Takur, and and, uh, and others. I will step out and join in a second. Okay. Your 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 the floor is yours. Oh. Oh, yes. I, I own the floor. <laughs> Actually, I just own the carpet on the floor. <laughs> and the couch. <laughs> and the bike is falling down. Look, it's going, it's going away. It's bye-bye. <laughs> Guess what? The tape gave out. Duct tape. The duct tape gave out, so I'm holding it up. Um, there is, I'll tell you... Takur is a Lyran, uh, and she's on the ship around the planet, on our continent. I, he I hear all this uh, echo, so it's very annoying. <laughs> yeah. Is the mic too close? Can you hear me real well? I can, yep. hear, I can hear you really well, yes. Okay, good. Yeah. The, this is yeah, I'll give at least I can. I don't know about everybody else. Yes. Well, it's like when I talk, there's a big echo. So maybe if I put it out to the side, yeah. that's a little better. Okay. That's a little better. Yeah. I'll um, make sure you meet your microphones, everybody. What was that? What did you say? 
I think uh, he said we should all mute the mics if we're not muted. Yeah. yeah, okay. I don't really know what to say except to, to curse the Lyran. Um, Lakesh is from his own planet, and he's a blue. And Tepe, who has never been on camera or never spoke in front of the camera, is a blue Pleiadian on the ship. Dizdu is the commander of the ship. Rojo is a a uh, Yigil, but we're not sure if it's a man or a woman. I think it's like it's halfway in between. It looked like it might be um, hermaphroditic kind of being. Um, and then we talked to Gahil the angel. And we've talked to Buddha and Jesus and Muhammad. Which are all in spirit. We're all in spirit. Grukfiknir is the alliance between the Pleiadians, the Akshurians, the Yigil, and the Lyric. And the fifth one, friendly reptilian. The, the friendly reptilian. Which species hasn't been named yet, actually, has it? The, the name is Friendly Reptilians. Friendly Reptilians. We can give them a name, Friendly Reptilians 1. Okay. Asani? <laughs> yes. So they're, a new species have joined Grukfiknir, and they're Friendly Reptilians. So, um, And then there's the Lightworkers around, all the different federations of Lightworkers um, around. There's a, at least two different federation of Lightworkers that I know of. Most important are Yael. They are dealing with us daily. Um, Yael, we have Dizdu speaking from us, and his full name is Diz Yakabu Dizduda. And they are very variable. Uh, they are, I'm moving the microphone, uh, very variable. They are typically, they would be my height, about six feet. Uh, much skinnier, looking like greys, but not like typical Zeta reticular greys. Not the ones which you see uh, on the advertisements and uh, on um, Area 51 pictures. They're more like um, older. They look older. They look like old guys. And they're whitish, very white, uh, gray, white whitish greyish, uh, all different color tones because they're variable. They are hybrid species species which was evolving in parallel with humans. They were exchanging back and forth so they have variably between 20 to 70 percent of our Earth DNA. So they are our ancestors and we are their ancestors. There was cross stock all the time. And they were evolving for many centuries at least Two or three thousand years old, they there are there were there was exchange between Yael and us. They are four-dimensional, way more advanced. Um, this dude can appear and disappear at will. That he can be talking to many people at the different locations at the same time. He can pop in, speak, and at the parallel he would speak elsewhere. Um, they can move things around. They they are very very much like magicians. They can do a lot of stuff which uh, magic beings can could do. They use lots of technology. They are very good in uh, hybridization. Um, they are very respected. The Girk Fitnir is uh, and they're one of the key members. They are basically the hands of Girk Fitnir. Pleiadians are there, but they. Are, Kind of little bit, I think they're kind of standing back. They are there, but they're more peaceful. They're more technological. Yael are the ones which fly and do stuff. They are like really working bees of Gorkvitnir. Arcturians are in control, but Yael are the ones which do things. And Yael are motivated to help us because they're most related to us. Pleiadians are also most related, but Pleiadians mostly contributed to us, and Yael are relatives like brothers to us, although they look very different. Um, they're terribly smart, their brain is bigger. Um, I don't remember, I think I asked if they can be, how, how long they can be comfortable on Earth. I think they need breathing apparatus, but otherwise they can they can be here. Uh, because greys were des designed themselves a long time ago to be f uh, to live on, on their ships, Yael also have that capacity. They don't have to be on their planet. They have the planet, but 
Yael can you know live comfortably on ships and travel the space uh, as long as they wish. The organs they have quite different. Uh, they have hands with five fingers, but they, again they are very variable within their species. They are very variable. Some of them are much more close to humans. I think there are yields which could be almost indistinguishable from humans, and there are ones which are quite different and look very, very like greys, very different. Uh, they're peaceful, advanced. Uh, they're they have the uh, telepathic. They have the ability to. Tran, tran, uh, the whole yeah, yellow race can connect to event if they're interested. So it's not only one yield you're talking to, you're talking to the whole yield society. But it's not as much as that reticular, which are hive mind. The yield are not as hive mind as they kind of in between, between hive mind and individuals. Okay. Do you want to comment on any? No. All right. Just have to go soon. <laughs> uh, to go. I am somewhere I have to be right in a little bit. <sighs> How long? Thank how much? You, Jim. Thank you, Max. Fifteen minutes. I wanted to do some more. So the, the miracle of um, stay 15 minutes, huh? the miracle of a literal language, I think, is the most important today. Uh, Jaguar, are you there? J Jaguar. Yes, yes, yes. I'm here. Uh, uh, yes. Let's let's try to figure out. So you don't understand what you're saying, right? When you speak Liran, like Sabrina, she couldn't even comprehend what she says. Can you comprehend what you say? Correct. I do not comprehend it. Uh, comprehend it yet. Yes. Okay. But it comes so naturally. All right. Uh, let's see if we can make a, a dictionary. I guess we start with most simple, useful word. The most simple, useful word is "high." Can you translate "high" to Aliran? Uh, oh, good. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, the cur the says "uha" very often. So uh -huh. Can you say it again? Woo-ha. Woo yeah. uh, how about um, blessings? Ishiotwaha. Ishiotwaha. Can you repeat? Ishiotwaha. Ishiotwaha. Wow. Ishiotwaha. I'm right. simplifying that. There is too There's many. Another thing that. Says all the time is mie. Mie. What's mie? She says mie. I hear that a lot. Mie. Uh, I'll have to ask her what that he is. He is on, on the mute. Uh, Jaguar, are you on mute? Can you unmute yeah. yourself? Yes. Um, mm, yeah. uh, mm, I don't know. My instinct would be yes. I'm not sure. Oh, yes. Mie. Yeah. Oh. She says mu a lot. All right. Mm -hmm. How about um, goodbye? I sho. I sho. I sho. I sho. Ho. I sho. Ho. You're gonna have to. I don't know. How would you write that down? <laughs> I mean, I, you know, it's, I'm going, I think how the heck would you write I that? think it's simpler than Chinese. I, I think it's simpler than Chinese. It's uh, almost as complicated as Russian. Yes. Uh, my my uh, understanding would be that uh, linguistically, in uh, Earth terms, uh, Arabic is important because of the ha sound, so uh -huh. the back of the throat. And also Spanish, it's uh -huh, often uh -huh. used. Uh, uh, that sound is very important. Let's do, do, keep doing. Human, can you translate human to learn? A yo hu wo. A yo hu wo. A yo hu wo. That sounds like something Takir says a lot. Um, Liren. Liren. You are you're on mute by some reason. You somehow muting yourself. Leo Uruaha. Can you repeat? Leo Uruaha. Leo Uruaha. Leo Uruaha. Leo Uruaha. Um. Thank you. How would how would you say thank you? Ayu Uah. Ayu Uah. Yeah. Ayu. Are you? 
I've heard those words before. You speak them all the time. Yeah, well, I've heard them before. <laughs> um, I, I didn't know what they meant. Um, me, me neither. Right now, I'm uh, my conscious mind has to step aside so fine, I can you do answer. Good job. Let's keep, doing, mm. keep going. What what other are use, useful words? Mm. Uh, how about thank you but no? Well, but no. Yeah. Oh, oh the issue. Oh. Okay. Repeat that. Thank, thank you but no. Please repeat. The Thank you. Um now just say no. I have heard that before too. I wo I wo What other words are you? mother mother, can you say mother? Aya Shiwa. Aya Shiwa? Aya Ishiwa. Aya Ishiwa. Uh, son, like uh, my son. Iti inyo huwa. Iti inyo huwa. Can you repeat? Iti inyo huwa. Is it my son or just son? My son. Oh, okay. Uh, what other? Um, um, how about um, I love you? A yo hua a ye ni e iwa. Oh, now that one I want to see translated in ph in phonetics. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't understand you, Sefira. Can you say again that? I said I would like to see I love you written phonetically in the language so I can learn it. Oh, we can do that now. We have a record. Now, how about... Um, That's awesome. Thank you, Jaguar. Awesome. Mm -hmm. how, about, how about much appreciation? Oh, it away. Thank you. Now, good. Say good. Oh, oh that is something I heard before. Uh, now say that is wonderful. <laughs> that is wonderful. <laughs> Okay. Uh, say, I come with peace. No, I is you a Now say, welcome. Oh, 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 can you repeat it? I wa nu wa. Wow. How does it feel? Do you feel um, tired to speak clear or is it normal? Do I feel what? Is it? Are you tired to speak clear? Yes. I, I, yes. 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 My it's energy. Like you're getting tired. Okay. Yes. I don't yes. want to overtax you. Mm hmm Yes. Uh, Tell it, me more about yourself. Um, it's enough now. Thank you. Thank you. Oha. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. Oha. I don't know. Something. It's something. Yeah. We. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, if you can talk about yourself. Um, mm -hmm. So, what extraterrestrial experiences do you have? Are you? Do you know if you're a hybrid? No, I do not know. Apparently, Zachariah learned from his past lives. You know, he was Arcturian in past lives, and he was uh, a Zeta Gray in past life. It was very funny. He says that uh, in past life, in one of past lives, he was a leader of Zeta Grays, and that kind of carries forward to all lives. So now, if they come, he just orders them to leave, and they have to obey because he was a leader. <laughs> it, it seems I have something similar, uh, Jim. 
Can you hear me? Yes. I start to understand how you feel. Yes. <laughs> My body is moving by itself. Right. It seems, it seems I'm starting to uh, channel yes. somehow. That's um, I think that you're at the beginning of it. Yeah. Yes, yes. My head's bobbing around. It's quite entertaining. <laughs> it's entertaining. Oh. Yes. yes. From the human perspective, yes. Yeah. When we started, I kind of watched over Jim, and I was working as a guard for Jim. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I was uh, guiding his uh, his trance state mm -hmm. because I was placing hands on him, and if he yes. was out of order, I kind of tried to guide him back to to a uh, happy state. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, in one case, it was a bad spirit coming through, and I kind of argued with him to to leave. No, actually, mm -hmm. not one case. It was several times. Mm -hmm. So I got my. So I would recommend if you have a friend, trusted friend, maybe you could um, could do it with someone who is uh, working as a. Yeah, you should have somebody that to help you with that. Yes. You've been my facilitator and helper, so that's good. Yes. So. <laughs> and now we also have Fishin on another side, Ayel, who is uh, sitting there at the how do you call this jockey desk and controlling the the you know the. The entrances and exits and uh, mm. and that thing. He's around, yeah. He's around. Yes. So yes. if somebody bad comes, he says, "Jim, don't don't let him in," because it's it is a permission which Jim has to give. In most yes. cases, they ask if they can come, and Jim says, "Oh yeah, please." Mm. And sometimes not good people come or not good spirits come. Yes. So to shift my frequency back, I will finish this availability for Liren. Yes. Okay. Because I was answering uh, uh, Max solicitations for translation, so now I will finish. Yeah, we, th we thank you and we thank all the spiritual energies which were helping you, and we wish them best, and we want to speak to them again later. Yes. Wonderful. So, thank you. Have a great day. I have to get going, peoples. <laughs> yeah, uh, donations from people who have money would be welcome, and uh, whoever wants to uh, reserve their sessions, personal sessions with Jim, contact Jim through the yeah. website. There is a page where you can. There have been him. some amazing personal sessions this last couple weeks. Some real amazing. Do you ones. want to share how they? So people contact you through email. You set up time. I would say that most everybody here has already had a session. Yeah, but it's recorded, so anybody who watches yes. will. We have ten people participate, but then there is three hundred who watch later. So yeah. we are advertising here. Yeah, and it helps with the gym. Record them and put them on the website. Right. Oh, did, yes. did you record it? No, I didn't download it yet. I didn't try, but because uh, I bet oh. I got really I got sick this week, and then last week I was exhausted, and I just. Yeah, I have a recorder. I purchased a program for about thirty dollars to record Skype conversations. I don't know if it is possible to share, but we'll try to share. So whoever wants to record, I can share the password with you, and you can try to record Jim. I uh, I will try to set up Jim for recording, but then he have to teach you how to send you the file. So it's it's uh, you know Jim's vision is not very good, and he's not overly great with computers. So I don't want to overtax him. He's already doing a good job channeling. So I don't want. Him to get in, uh, you know, in more te technology. It, it, it's it's sophisticated. You have to record and then have to send it, so it takes time. Uh, but it's possible, so we'll work on that. Um, well, I wanted to say how the session looks. Uh, people talk to you first before channeling, and then things happen like you normally. Yes. Like yes. Jim sits in his uh, chair and channels, and uh, Lakesh typically comes. Takur comes, and uh, they speak to you and. and Pentium is the third one. Pentium comes? Every now and then. Is Pentium or Pentium? Pentium. P-E-N-T-I-M-M. -M. Oh, I misspelled it on the side. I need to fix it. Pentium. If I can access it. I think it's Pentium. That's okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, they come and uh, personal questions. I always ask about jobs, money, health. And with health, there is a lot of help coming to me and my family. So. So I'm very happy and I'm very thankful. Uh, if anything bad happens, they come and tweak things around. 
in the, some cases they they cause it. In some cases, it's you know caused by something else, uh -huh. and they help with that. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Jim, very much for today. Thank you, Max. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Love you all. You. I've had some really great conversations. And we are very thankful that you standed by for stood by for <laughs> an hour until we fixed that. Yeah, thank you. That problem. <laughs> it could be my fault. I could prepare better, but um, Sandy, uh, Sandy says goodbye. Bye, Sandy. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank Bye -bye. you, Jim. Thank Bye. you, Max. Thank you, Jim. Thank you all. Thank you very much.